guys if you're new here my name is Jenna I film a lot of productivity lifestyle bullet journal videos so if you want to subscribe I'd really appreciate it today is Saturday December 12th and I have wet hair because I just showered today was a shampoo day for today's video I'm really excited because since it's Saturday we have the whole day I'm just feeling like I'm in like the festive spirit so we are going to go to Trader Joe's do an entire holiday Trader Joe's haul and make some holiday themed things. I think we're gonna try to make either snowman pancakes or Santa pancakes. We're gonna try to make a peppermint mocha and we'll see what Trader Joe's has in terms of desserts but I figured it'd be fun to just show you guys what I'm getting from Trader Joe's today and make some holiday themed stuff. I want to put on just a little bit of makeup. I don't think I'm really gonna put anything on my face but I'm just gonna do some brows and mascara and then we're just gonna call it. I was gonna do a time lapse but let's just go ahead and get ready together and catch up. I want to know how you guys have been liking the videos lately. I know that a lot of you are friends and family but for those of you who have maybe just subscribed, how are you liking the videos? This is the SPF that I really like using. It's the Body Shop Vitamin C Glow Protect Lotion and and it's SPF 30. It smells very citrusy, like it smells like oranges, but I really like it and it feels like lotion. But yeah, I just wanna know how you guys are doing. If you have any plans for the holiday season, let me know what they are. Are you guys gonna go home for the holidays and be with your family or are you just gonna stay wherever you're living and be separated this year? I spent Thanksgiving not with like my mom and dad and older sister. It looks like that's going to be the case again for Christmas, which is fine. The vaccine just got approved yesterday by the FDA, so I'm really, really excited that, you know, like the end is beginning. Even though it still will take some time, all you can do is remain positive, and I'm feeling very hopeful now that a vaccine has been 100% approved. Was honestly a really really great workout I'll link it below for you guys the workout that I did but I did a 45 minute full body hit from Caroline Gervin I don't know how to pronounce her name but she has like this epic program I believe it's 60 days it's like a pretty long program and I'm not doing the program as a whole but I did day 26 is that what it was it was a really great workout the first time that I tried her workout I just completely died today's workout was pretty good it was like the perfect I think it was the perfect high intensity interval training but still I wasn't completely dying but I got a good amount of calories burned and I felt like I was sweating a lot just I wasn't completely dying which I can appreciate so it was a great Saturday morning workout I think this is all we're gonna do for makeup today all I've been using is my L'Oreal Lash Paradise waterproof the regular tinted brow gel and the benefit precisely my brow pencil to kind of just blend everything in okay so here's the finished look very simple and natural today so now that we're ready let me show you guys what we're gonna make it's so cute I just think it'd be fun to make some Christmas themed brunch items if Trader Joe's has the cinnamon rolls I really want to make like a cinnamon roll Christmas tree here are the Santa pancakes isn't that so cute that's so cute too I don't know you know maybe I'll make both why not Let's make both. I think all I really need are strawberries and whipped cream and maybe some blueberries and yeah. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So we're gonna make the Christmas pancakes and we're gonna make a peppermint mocha. Oh, and cinnamon rolls. Let's go to Trader Joe's and get some stuff. So here's today's outfit. We're wearing this green cropped hoodie from Target. My set active black leggings. These are my Air Max 95s and featuring my mom's Christmas mask. Okay, seriously, is that not the cutest thing ever? So let's go to Trader Joe's and see what we can find. I didn't get everything that I wanted, 
because they didn't have everything, but I did get their Jingle Jangle, which I'm really excited to try because I haven't tried that before. We got their cinnamon rolls, so we're gonna make a cinnamon roll Christmas tree. I got some stuff for pancakes, but I still, I think I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and see what they have there. I don't think they're gonna have anything really holiday themed, but I wanna pick up some peppermint extract, some candy canes and sprinkles. I heard that Whole Foods frozen section has the Levon Bakery cookies like in their frozen section. So I could get all these things at Giant, but I just want to go to Whole Foods and see what they look like. Maybe we'll get them, maybe we won't, but I don't know. Let's go to Whole Foods next. So it's closer anyways, so. I basically got everything that I needed except for a peppermint extract. I'm just gonna run into Giant really quickly and see if they have it, but I honestly have a feeling they might not have it. Let's just hope that we'll find some peppermint extract. If not, we might just have to figure something out. <laughs> Let's start with Whole Foods. Unsweetened almond milk. I got this peppermint hand soap for, I don't know, I just had to. <laughs> Some sprinkles, candy canes, and I did get the Levon Bakery frozen cookies. I'll make them at some point, and when I do, I'll show you guys, but I'm really excited to make these. Okay, that's everything from Whole Foods. If I had known that I was gonna go to Giant, then I wouldn't have gotten these things, but it's fine. And then for Trader Joe's, some strawberries and blueberries for our pancakes. My favorite kombucha ever, which is the Health Aid Pink Lady Apple. This is like the best kombucha. Some whipped cream and cinnamon rolls, liquid stevia. And then I got these cookie mug hangers for when we make like hot chocolate or like even just to have it with our coffee. I thought it was really cute. Our peppermint extract from Giant. Some pancake mix because I wanted to have protein pancakes, but then I was like, no, I want buttermilk pancakes. So we got this. Some cocoa powder for our peppermint mocha. Lastly, we got Jingle Jangle, which is like a cult favorite from Trader Joe's. So this is what it has. Open it together. Ooh. So you can see like chocolate covered pretzels. Mmm, I really, really like this. So that's my small little holiday haul for our festive holiday brunch. Let's start with the coffee and I'll link the video that I'm gonna follow. It's really simple, so let's just try to let's just try to make that. Okay, so here's the peppermint mocha recipe we'll be following. Here are the ingredients. We're gonna use two of the Volteso Nespresso pods for our coffee. Okay, so we have two shots of espresso and this is gonna go into our warm pan filled with one third a cup of almond milk. Santa. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a little 
love Santa. It's Santa. Okay, lastly, I just poured our milk espresso peppermint drink. And then here's our Christmas coffee. Wow, oh my God, they're so cute. Okay, we're going to eat our Christmas food. This took a lot of effort, but... Mmm. Oh, that's so good. I think if you mix the whipped cream in there. Mmm. Okay, and then let's eat our Santa. Sorry, Santa. team santa or team snowman they're both pancake dishes but they're actually pretty different because the santa had strawberries and blueberries mainly and a lot of whipped cream whereas the snowman had a little bit more of the pancakes and there was like chocolate for the eyes and face and a lot more powdered sugar so i think i liked the santa more because i just love strawberries and whipped cream they were both really good i think this is really good too it's like i don't like sweet coffee so i think having just one like a couple droplets of liquid stevia was really good for this and i still get like that bitter coffeeness taste that i like i still taste the peppermint as well the whipped cream and crushed candy cane on top was kind of like the perfect thing to finish off this drink so i really liked it Hope you guys had fun watching this, but I'm gonna rest a little bit and clean up and then I'll see you guys in a little bit when I make my cinnamon roll Christmas tree. Okay guys, it's been a couple hours. It's dark out now, but it's 6.14 and I just kind of hung out the rest of the day. I actually started editing this video already. We ate dinner and now it's time to make our cinnamon roll Christmas tree from Trader Joe's. I saw this Pinterest photo, I'll put it right here. I figured what's a better dessert than cinnamon rolls in the shape of a Christmas tree. So we're gonna try to follow that and hopefully it turns out okay, but I'm not actually sure. It really shouldn't be that hard. We're just like placing the cinnamon rolls in the right place to make a Christmas tree. Hopefully it turns out okay. I got the sprinkles that you saw earlier, so let's just see how it turns out and hopefully my roommates will enjoy it. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Been wondering just what you mean to me. Oh, Honestly, it's never been much about you Don't get me wrong, I think you're great Root of tradition, we celebrate But oh, Christmas tree More than anything, it's all the people roommates and my neighbors but this is so good the key is to break up the cinnamon rolls in half it comes in a jumbo roll but if you unroll them and kind of cut it in half you can make a christmas tree with more little little baby cinnamon rolls that way and then you have a christmas tree it was so easy to make it tastes delicious and there you have a festive christmas dessert okay guys that's gonna be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching me make some holiday themed meals and desserts today it's vlogmas so you'll still see new videos from me every monday wednesday and friday until christmas i'll see you in wednesday's video but until then i miss you already